Hello, this is Raphael from interactivemarketing.net with a quick video on how to set up a Gmail for business, uh, the Gmail suite, uh, G Suite for uh, your custom domain in GoDaddy. It's super easy. And so the first thing you do is Google uh, Gmail for business. Okay. And that's going to take you to the G Suite page, right? So you're gonna hit get started. And it's gonna give you a 14 day trial right now, which is awesome. It, so you tell them about the business, the business name. I'm actually setting in this up for one of my clients, client partners, has in wants. All right, actually. And what I'm gonna do is actually make sure I'm putting in the optimize has and wants. And put it right has and wants. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the the optimized title from Google My Business if local SEO has been done for that. And then that way everything I'm doing has a nice continuity. So, and that's great for SEO. Um, in this case, I am going to be setting up two emails for them uh, today. So I'm going to say that it's for two of us. Uh, we're located in the United States. Current email address. Here I'm going to put mine. Uh, you put your whoever is managing this and just pushing this through, making sure that this is going to be uh, set up. You can create your own email address later. Next, uh, it's going to ask you if you have a domain. So I register my domains in GoDaddy, and I've just been doing that for as long as I can remember. And so I have a lot of my domains in here, but you would register, you would go into wherever the client or you had uh, your domain name. And I know what the domain name is. It's has a wants dot us. All right, so I'm gonna grab that domain name. I'm gonna put that guy in here. And I'm gonna need to log into GoDaddy later, anyways, to set up the MX records. And the MX records is just a fancy name for where the email address is pointed to, what servers. And I'm gonna say, use this domain to set up the account. Yep, yeah, your domain. Yep, email sent to have someone won't be affected until you set up an email. Yep, 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 yep. Um, what's your name? Okay. Uh, you'll be the G uh, Suite account admin since you're creating the account. Don't worry, you can assign this later. I'm going to go ahead and set this up under my client's name. Uh, let me get excited. Thompson, yeah. Joe at have some wants dot us. That's what we want, right? And I'm gonna make his little a little password for him here. I'm gonna say I'm not a robot. I am gonna add Joe here. Agree and create account. Yay, and we've set up a G Suite account. And G Suite's wonderful for business. Uh, number one, it's always recommendable to have email hosted somewhere uh, different anyways. Um, and there's a lot of benefits to Gmail, just ease of use. Uh, but it also you get all of the Google Docs kind of suite. So you get video conferencing, you get uh, all of the docs for a team. Right, so if you had a business and teams and places you wanted to put stuff in, um, it's really great. So, ready to set up your business account and get Joe working with Gmail? We'll walk you through each step. Go set up. And I guess I'm gonna log into Joe now. Yep. Make sure I picked up my the right email. And I use LastPass, all my team members 
use LastPass, but a lot of my clients use LastPass. It's incredible. Um, so, provide a phone number to continue. We'll send a verification code you can use to sign in. All right, so I'm gonna send, since I'm the one setting this up, I'm gonna send this to my number, right? Because I don't wanna go have to get the number from the client or anything like that. This is just for uh, setup. Oh, this number has been to use too many times. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, but I'm an agency. I always have so many numbers. So in that case, I'm going to send it to Chelsea, my wife, who's upstairs. 448. Ask her for the code. All right, and while that is happening, I'm gonna pause here. Okay, so um, Chelsea just sent me that code back. We'll verify it. Damn, all right. Let's see if I, oh, I didn't copy and paste it right. Let's try again. We go. Hmm. Oh, you see what it is? It's cutting off. So I need to get us the code without the G. Come here. Okay. Accept. Once you verify your email address, you'll be able to access Google. Okay, verify by receiving my link email address. We have sent an email message to the address. Oh, but I don't want that there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Hmm, this is a problem. Okay, pots. Okay, so you know you always kind of run into little things as you go through the process. Uh, it's asking me to verify that email that I haven't set up yet, so it's kind of weird is doing that. Uh, so I went back to my emails where I put my uh, my real email address for the G Suite account, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to go sign in through there and see what happens. Joe has once that us that's me. Make sure it is the right one. Boom, okay, so now, okay, so now I'm gonna go into setting up the DNS. I've set up the account. Next, I'm gonna set DNS. Uh, add people to G Suite account, set up business account, done. So it's gonna kinda take us through the process. Create user accounts for everyone on your team so they can sign into their new. So I mentioned I was going to create a different account, um, and I'm running out of charge. I'm going to pause here. So like I was saying, that we're creating uh, two accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and add the second account, and add ten users below if you want. Group like info or sales can be added later at no additional cost. Oh, that's what we want. So I am not going to add another one. Ta da! Cancel. 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 Okay. And now I'm going to verify my domain, right? And this is where I need to jump into, Go into GoDaddy. Uh, after your domain is verified, okay, okay. I'm gonna go hit verify. It's gonna give me different options. We'll see. And here you log into the account that has that domain. So I mentioned this is really a partner of mine. This is under one of my one of my accounts. I'm gonna hit accept, and I have verified my domain, and it's setting up the emails. Oh my god! So this is awesome. Before, then after this, I had to go in and go change the MX records inside GoDaddy DNS. And for 
anyone that's listening to the, to this that doesn't know what that is, uh, congratulations. You don't need to know anymore because <laughs> yeah, they're setting it up for us. All right, so I'm gonna pause and wait these four minutes as this is happening, and um, and then we'll uh, look at the end of this. Okay, thanks. All right, so it says that uh, it's verified. Everything is good to go. I'm gonna hit next, and. is asking me which one I need. And I believe for most people, the $5 a month is where you need to be. There's plenty, 30 gigs of space is plenty. Um, of course, if you never wanna worry about space, you can get a terabyte over here for $10 a month per user. So I'm just gonna hit choose here. Choose, choose. Why wouldn't it let me to make sure your account, uh, they're trying to push me to that $10 range. Here we go. And then um, I'm gonna end here because here's where we just go through and put in the client's credit card um, and that's it. All right, that's uh, the quick video on how to set up uh, G Suite for a your own custom domain name. All right, hope that was helpful. Thank you.